introduce her one more time. <laughs> yes, this is a phenomenal woman of God. Um, she has integrity, and that's important in this industry, whether it's gospel or just the entertainment industry, period. Mm -hmm. you got to have integrity, and she has all those. She's multi-talented, multifaceted. She is the one and the only, the Bay Area's own and the world's own, Miss Tina Carter. Good morning, sister. Good morning to everyone, and thank you guys so much for this um, wonderful um, opportunity. I am, I love you, uh, Robert Earl. I love you so much because, like you stated, I am the behind-the-scenes person, yes. and I normally don't do these types of platforms, but I'm grateful this morning for God's Radio 1 and to be a part this morning so thank you 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 are incredible and um i was praying about people that we should get for the interviews um because we have to get people that first of all have something to say and for two that are influ influencers and you are you are wonderful i heard about you first through my cousin john de cure because you because yes. you work with the one and the only the voice herself lena burr miles and as i got to yeah. know you more then I begin to find out all the different layers that you have. Tell us the, about you, because the people are listening and the viewers are watching. Great. Um, so <clears throat> I am a daughter of Charles Claybon, Betty Crowder, who lives, was born and raised in San Francisco, the proud sister of Elder Eric Claybon, who was in the Southern California area doing music in his own right, wow. um, and the aunt of uh, three handsome nephews, the wife of Pastor Freddie Carter, 24 years, getting ready to go on 25. Congratulations. Here. Thank you. A friend, love God's people, yes. love to be creative, and love to laugh. So I am, I guess, like a ball of energy. Yes. I am a multitasker. Um, but really, the uh, title that people have been giving me is a pusher. Yes. Because if I see potential in you, I'm going to push you further into that potential. Amen. Amen. Now, 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 sister, uh, this is Dr. LT. Now, uh, you're in the Bay Area. What part of the Bay Area are you in? I am uh, in San Francisco, where I was born and raised. Now, I don't know, but uh, do you remember back in 1983, 84? Uh, wow, uh, when, old. When, when, when uh, I was in the Bay Area playing <laughs> trumpet for Mingleton Temple Church of God in Christ, and I met you way back then? I do not remember that. Lord uh, Jesus. But I know, I know Mingleton, and um, I'm sure that our our paths have crossed at some point um, because music has been always around me. Mm -hmm. um, like I stated, my brother was in Southern Cal to do, uh, <clears throat> he went down there for school, but he ended up, I don't know if you guys remember this since we're doing throwback. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember Rotten Friends? Say it one more do you time. Remember an artist, the artist is named Rodney Friends. Yes, I remember him. Okay. So my brothers um, sang with him for a while, and um, so he was back there in that era. And then also here, just in the Bay Area, my mom used to sing with the when there when choirs were big. Yes, my mom used to sing in a local in the local forty four choir, mm -hmm. and uh, my husband actually did the first project for James Moore. Wow. All right. All right. Wow. Yeah. James Moore. yeah. Okay. okay. So and yeah, so I, I, music has been all around. So I got to, do you know a uh, Calvin Brown uh, in the Bay Area, bass player? Yes, 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 I do. I now was, I know who you are. I did not know you played an instrument. <laughs> and, and, and so I, I'm laughing because there's so many people that are iconic in the music industry from the Bay Area. And I always tease folks, because uh, I was up there for six years going to UC Berkeley, and um, I would always tease folks about, don't you remember when you met me? And they'd be trying their best yes, they to do. try to figure it out. Right. And so 
I go and get some iconic names and then oh yes, I remember you and I'm like I'm like they probably don't but it sounds, <laughs> sounds good. No. Right. I'm like Dr. LT, nope, yeah. but don't know that one. <laughs> but but here's the here's the thing. One of the things I love about us as Kingdom citizens is that if we if we meet ten years, twenty years ago, or if we meet right now, we become family because we're all on the same mission to spread the word of God. Your behind the scenes management and direction has led so many people yes, sir. to Christ. What made you want to be the behind the scenes versus in front of the scenes? Um, you know what? That's a really good question. I think I like the uh, concept of the creative and the organization of a thing. Mm -hmm. And um, I really do try my best to listen to what I need to do. And I cut my teeth actually ooh, when I was 18, 19, which was a long time ago. Um, growing up in a Baptist church, uh, we have very good um, counselors. And so they would expose us to a lot of things. But I, I realized that as I got older, the ones coming behind me didn't have anyone. So the first thing that I did was a choreographed fashion show for the young people, and from that point forward, it's just been on. Um, I, I love putting stuff together. I love the uh, creative of it all. So yeah, I think that's where, it. yeah, I think that's where I've landed. I, you know, I don't ever have to be in the front, ever. Mm -hmm. When I say ever, ever. <laughs> now, now, did, um, I love now, did you say that you your husband is a pastor? He is, uh-huh, he so, is pastor. So in San Diego, we've been corrected, because you know how we say first lady? Uh, uh, they, uh -huh. They've told us that we can use elect lady or only lady, because there's only going to be one lady, there's no first lady. So as, as the only lady uh, of, your, of your church uh, 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 leadership, how is it to um, uh, sow into uh, such a large group of young men and young women? Um, so that's funny. So thank you for not going the first lady route because I'm like, where is it in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Um, and before that title, I was just called a daughter, you know, mm -hmm. just a daughter of the kingdom. So that's what I like to go by. Mm -hmm. Um, don't, I don't know. I, I guess I am a product of my grandmother, Rosalie Patton, who was, who attended her church until she transitioned at the age of 91. However, she was very kingdom-minded mm -hmm. by spreading her gifts and doing for so many different ministries. So even though my uh, I am a part of the well ministry, where my husband is an amazing pastor and leader, he also gives me the freedom to reach out and help other ministries. So it's not just the ladies in our congregation or the men in our congregation, but it's also helping the body of Christ. So I, I facilitate in a lot of different ministries and I thoroughly enjoy it. Well, what you have a gift um, to do what you do um, has to be a gift because dealing with various and diverse people requires a gift because you know how people are, whether it be any nationality or any color. I want to tell you that you have a gift because there are there's not one time that I have not texted you or called you for some information that you have not expeditiously returned my phone call or text. So that's a gift I feel that God gave you because everybody don't have that. Thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, people are important to me. Yes. You know, um, you're right. Um, sometimes we come in all colors and flavors flavors, but, you know, I really do love people, and I'm going to do my best to try to um, help in any way that I can. What what makes an effective manager? Because we have managers that are managing artists that, that are watching mm -hmm. and listening. In your opinion, what makes an effective manager of an artist? It could be an up-and-coming artist. It could be an artist that's starting to get established. Give them some tips because people need to know this, because it's more than just saying you're a manager. There's work that has to be done. And, and before you do that, uh, and who really needs a manager? That's the question. Right. Right. That's a good question. Well, um, it is a great question. 
Um, and you're right. I don't believe that necessarily everyone needs it. But prior to Lena, I was serving in that capacity, but not necessarily having the title um, for my brother because people would call him for engagements and whatnot. And sometimes when you have an artist or a person who ministers, they just want to focus on the gift. Mm -hmm. They don't want to necessarily focus on the business part of it. And so um, therein lies the reason if not good with business or things like that, or you don't want to do the follow-up, then you may want to bring somebody in to be a part of your team to kind of help you manage that part and to manage the things that could be, you know, kind of um, sticky, whether it's the honorarium or the uh, travel or whatnot. So um, if you feel like that's not your strong suit, bring somebody on your team that, um, has a way of communicating with people that's a networker, um, a person who is, again, a lover of people because you're going to meet all kinds along the way. Great answer. Hey Amen. Robert, yeah, so I have a question for you, uh, sis. Um, being, okay. Being a pastor's wife, have you, how do you deal with, um, you know, because I know all the time you're not always uh, willing to um, give an answer or always willing to be kind. How, how, how do you handle moments where you're going through yourself, but you have to give an encouraging word to someone who, who is hurting? Um, actually, because I um, am a person that looks outward before I look inward, okay. it's easy for me to see a need in somebody else and be able to meet them where, where that need is. Um, whether it's just a listening ear or if they just need somebody um, to give them some advice or even pray for them. Um, so it's easy for me to outbound what I need. But as far as if I'm going through personally, right. yeah. um, I have a small core that I talk to, my brother being one of the main people that I talk to because he understands me. You know, he's lived with me for 50 some odd years. So um, he gets, you know, the person of Tina. So um, I have a, a small group that I talk to, um, and I'm blessed to have them, you know, as an outlet. Okay. I think that's great. Now, what what do you do? Because you put on events and stuff. Tell, tell the listeners about the things you do in that Bay Area, because you do things that's outside of the church as well as inside the church. Yes, actually, I do. Um, so um, I've been privileged to um, kind of work on a lot of different things. I have a lot of signature events that I've done. Um, like if Pastor John Piki comes in the area, at least the last few times that he's come to the Bay, um, he specifically reached out to me and asked me if I would host that concert in the area. So that's one. Um, I did a signature event um, honoring the Bay Area artists and musicians for about five years where we would go to my friend's mansion and um, just love on them with food and services, awesome. barber that's services, good. nail uh, manicures, massages. Wow. We had music going on outside. And, you know, it was a full-on production um, and that's where we had the opportunity to bring in an outsider to the Bay, none other than the late Thomas Clay. Uh, we brought him to the Bay Area um, to be a part of some of those events, um, done some Christian proms for uh, young people. Just anything that got put on my heart, we did an, an evening with the producers at Yoshi's and yes, other. that's okay. what I wanted to hear about, um, yes. <clears throat> yep, an evening with the producers. Um, I've written also a lot of uh, gospel plays that we have done um, that has really yielded a harvest of souls. So um, it's just whatever um, he puts on my heart to do, that's what I endeavor to obey. So I love, love anything creative. Yes. Well, 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 sis, I, I want to say this is Dr. LT, and, um, you know, I've been looking for a manager uh, to manage my career, uh, every, every, every since, um, I, I, I dropped my, my latest single entitled, uh, Jesus is on the main line and I told him what I want. 
I told him what I want. Yeah, I told him what I want. Run the other and, way, Tina. And, 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 and uh, my, my speaking and acting career uh, <laughs> entitled when, when Dr. LT meet Robert Earl Green, uh, we made biscuits. Uh, how can right, I, that one. How, how can I get under your management um, to take me to the next level? Because you She's know, the, not taking the, any the, more the, Lord, the Lord said, the Lord said that there's a blessing in the midst of uh, Dr. Lt. Press Lord. Well, listen, and I believe all of that, um, especially with you making biscuits with honey. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I believe all of that. Right, but you know what? The call, the call on your life. Well, just with that announcement right now, uh -oh. you gonna have so many people knocking your door down. Right, you won't even need someone like a Tina Carter. <laughs> right, and, 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 and your and your ministry may be for your house. <laughs> right, not the church house, but your house. Or the or the kitchen. Or, or the, the kitchen, kitchen. right? Yeah. Kitchen, kitchen ministry. ministry. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, well, everybody got a kitchen ministry right now because we we zoom it. Right. <laughs> so right. I'm in good company. Right. So start there before yes. you come to her. Praise right, right. him. Okay. Now, right. tell us about but your your. I, oh yes, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. So can I dispel a myth? Yes. Okay. So here's this myth. Lena Bird Miles, right? Yes. Phenomenal, yes. phenomenal yes. gift, but. Just such a sweetheart. Yes, she is. So here's she the is. myth. Lena is so good about her social media. Mm -hmm. She is the one. God opened the door for her because of her diligence wow. and what she put in to um, her own ministry. So the myth is I did not open any doors for Lena in that why she did her own work. But what I will do and serve Lena and Tobias Miles mm -hmm. well in is mm -hmm. any business. I will take care of their business, but Lena is her own marketing person, and she's done a phenomenal, a phenomenal job, job. At, um, at it. Yeah, and if I may take the opportunity to talk about the other artists that yes, I have. Yes, please. Tamara Edwards. Yeah, Tamara Edwards is a baby from the Bay who has, I don't know if anybody knows, she's been in a documentary, um, and it showed um, right here in the Bay Area, and they were trying to take the film to Sunday. Um, Shalene Huey Booker is another phenomenal gift yes. right here in the Bay. Just all of the ladies that um, God has gifted me mm -hmm. with, are um, just phenomenal in their own right, right. as well as Elder Eric Claiborne, who is my brother. Um, I also manage him as well. And what is the name of your company? Um, a Pure Love Affair. Powerful name. I, 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 yeah. I, I like it. And, you know, and, and I am convinced <laughs> in, mm -mm. The, in the name of Jesus mm -mm. that Take you Jesus are name out. perfect. You are the perfect one for my kitchen start ministry. Sis, you know, you know, yes. how, you know, how the people put Jesus in it when they want you to do something for them. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Sorry, why, 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 why? You really came for me like that? No, no, I'm just saying, go back and pray again because you made you know, your little antennas look, might be off. Look, see, this is now, sister, sister Carter. I want you to know. I've been trying to work some deals for for for, for Pastor because he announced it today for Pastor Robert Earl Dean right. for for uh, oh, for, the last, yeah, for, the, for the last couple of weeks. And every time we get into negotiation, he'll say something to get the folks upset. Now I'm trying to negotiate me a deal right now, and you keep on interrupting. Tina, right. he's negotiating him a deal for him to sing and, and sing in his ministry. No, 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 but you forgot the acting. You know, you forgot, acting and his ministry. You know, keep going. Let's go down the line. How about this? Chicken connoisseur. I've never tasted your chicken, so no, I'm not trying to say I cook it. I eat it. Okay, well, we, you right. know, that's, I, that's good. I, you know, I go into places and tell them if they get an A, B, or F rating, right, on their chicken. See, he's one of them kind of clients. You know? He's one of them kind of clients. So God is showing you that He ain't for your ministry, Sister Tina. I'm telling wow. you, right, I'm trying to tell you right now. Uh, now, the one thing I can do is I can preach, right, and then you can feed me chicken, which is the gospel bird, right. and we all be good, right. The gospel bird. And, and and sis, we go back to Olivet with Eddie Baltrup. And back then, yes. the Voices of Fulfillment used to come to your yes. church. Well, you know what? Um, Olivet was not my church, uh -huh. but the connection that I have with 
that is Kathy Copeland. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Kathy Copeland. We just okay. talked to her the other day. Yes, so Kathy um, actually used to attend uh, Mount Sinai, um, Bishop James Adams. Yes, so, oh, yeah. James Adams. Yes. Yes. We used to go there. Yes, came to our church. Yes. yes, so I was a member of Mount Sinai, actually. That's where you were. So, we used to come there, the voice of a yes. mm -hmm. yes, I remember. I remember. Now, yes, sir. Now, I'm going to uh, come back on a very serious note because I know the reason why um, I asked about management and everything like that, because I, I can imagine based on what you're doing for your other artists, so many people come to mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. and want you to manage them. Can you, when you begin to take on a client, uh, can you give uh, kind of like the recommendation before you come to me, mm -hmm. I need you to do this? Mm -hmm. uh, what would that be? Because a lot of young artists like, I need management. And I always say to the young artist, well, what do you have to manage? First? Exactly. So what, what are the criteria before they can even have the come conversation? Come on, that's a good question. Um, it is a great question, and I'm going to answer, not trying to be super spiritual, but that's where I operate from. Come on, sis. So my um, my vantage point or viewpoint has to be, it has to be someone that I know God has spoken to me about. Mm -hmm. um, he has to um, give me um, the clearance to be able to move forward with representing the person on a long-term basis. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help anybody if I can. And so a lot of the Bay Area artists will tell you that I've been involved with them at one point or another. Derek Hall. Yes, and, um, Derek Hall. Um, Evan Moore. Um, Robin Hodge Williams was um, in-house record, which was my husband's uh, record company along with uh, two other partners, we did her first project. So I was involved in a lot of marketing and whatnot for Robin. Um, actually wrote uh, her title song for Anoint Me. Um, I wrote that particular song for her. Wow. So we've been, I'm involved with a lot of different artists in the Bay Area, yes. love them, um, and will do anything I can to support them. But as far as taking them on on a, on a long-term basis, I really need to know that, first of all, that I heard God. Right. Because I don't want to bring someone on board, you know, and I can't really fulfill um, what they're looking for. Um, but the person definitely needs to be just as passionate about their gifting as I am. Mm -hmm. I can't work harder for you than you work harder, speak you know, on, harder for yourself. On. That is some you know? good sound and, stuff right there, sis. Yeah, and you absolutely have to be the type of person that will listen. You have to be pliable, yes. you know, and is artistry really what you want to do or is it ministry? Mm -hmm. Because as you guys know, the industry is not nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. And that the industry is just not, it, it, it's not nice and it will break a person who is not necessarily ready. That's right. You that's, know, that's and, established. Oh, you can really kind of define what it is that you want to do. Yes. You know, are you just really trying to get on the stage or are you really trying to minister to people? That's good. You know, what is it that you want to do? That's good. That's so. good. One, one of the things that um, I was, uh, for the six years I was up there, um, I was playing professionally um, for a lot of different groups and things of that nature. And one of the things I tell young people is simply this, uh, know your craft, Rehearse before you get to the studio. Rehearse before you get to rehearsal so that you are going through your parts. One of the things that um, I shared with them is that I played trumpet. And if I was this, if I was one minute late to a studio session, there were four other trumpet players out there that was ready to take my spot. Um, uh, we, right. we continue to encourage people. That's what I love about the Bay Area. Yes, sir. The musical gifts being up amazing. There. It, re, you know, they say iron sharpens iron. Um, and, and that is a, a hub of great music. I want to ask this question because so many things are changing over the years. Can you t uh, just share with people some of the iconic spots in the Bay Area from the Reed Records to uh, 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 Jack London Square, those things that gospel music has been going forth? And you already mentioned Yoshi's, but where you are actually bringing the kingdom into these locations. Hmm. Um, so you mentioned two of the primary uh, locations. We have of late, over the last couple of years, really been penetrating the Yoshi setting because, you know, as, as we're finding out, a lot of the artists um, have this unspoken desire to, um, you know, perform there. And so 
the doors have opened up for us. Um, a lot of times we will get um, people call me a promoter, but I, that's not what I consider myself. Mm -hmm. um, but I will get calls from, you know, like you know, she's management to say, hey, you know, we have a couple of days. Do you want to bring in any shows? type of thing, and so I had the privilege to bring in, like, a Carl Wheeler. Do you guys know yeah. Yes, Carl? the legendary organist for the Hawks. Oh, my God. Carl Wheeler. <laughs> um, Tony, show, Tony, uh, Tony. Yes, phenomenal, yeah. mm -hmm. phenomenal artist. Um, he can sing his backside off. He doesn't do it often, but he can sing. Just a gift. Mm -hmm. um, but I've had an opportunity to bring a lot of people there. You said Jack London Square. Um, <clears throat> there's been some places in the Berkeley area where mm -hmm. we've done concerts. There is There are a couple of larger um, churches. BB Memorial was um, a church back in the day that um, a lot of choirs and um, just groups used to go to. Of course, Love Center. Yes. Um, uh, there used to be a, a lot of concerts there. Um, as far as, like, commercial or the marketplace venues, mm -hmm. we haven't really penetrated a lot of marketplace venues other than, like, a Yoshi's. Um, but perhaps that's going to start opening up, you know, for us to do more of that. Sis, keep on doing what you're doing because you are taking God outside of the four walls and in the time that we're living in. People need something to hold on to, some something positive. Their 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 faith really needs to to to, to be strong. And what you're doing, and you like you know, music is universal. It's a universal language. And so we yes. thank, we thank God for a person like you. And I'm I'm honored to be your little brother, and I'm honored to be affiliated with you. And thank you so much for talking to our listeners and our viewers because it was important that they heard it from someone that's not quote unquote a singer but somebody else that's a part of the industry because you have a lot of different diverse people on here how can the people follow you if they wanted to follow you um lately can i add to tack on two yes. more locations before i answer that yes so of course the legendary paramount theater i was going to mention paramount yes mm -hmm. fox theater is that's another one yes. that some of the uh, gospel concerts have come to. Mm -hmm. So those are two more in the area. Um, Black Rep Theater is Black-owned. Mm -hmm. um, some events have been there as well. Okay, so um, you can follow me actually on Facebook, um, A Pure Love Affair Event Management. Uh, lately, I've been doing these videos or interview videos called Insight. And so you can see a plethora of um, the videos that I've been putting up on um on Facebook on that particular area. My, I'm, I'm an open book, um, so my email is eternalyes at yahoo.com. If you have any questions you want to get in touch with me, eternalyes at yahoo.com. Uh, feel free to send me an email. And I thank you both all, again, for um, just this opportunity um, just to give the backside. Yes. Do the work, though. If you're an artist, please perfect your craft. Right. Please be just as passionate about the gift that God has right. given you so that it's not such a heavy lift on the person who is supporting you. And have integrity. Come on. Please that have part. integrity. Come on. <laughs> please have integrity. Yeah. Well, one of the things we want to say to yes. you is that we appreciate you yes. and we send you love from the city of San Diego. Yes. We want you to know that GOD Thank Radio you. is here for you anytime to support. And you know your your brother, uh, uh, your sweetie, Robert Earl Dean, will make sure that whatever yes. you need. Yes. And send me, send me those other artists you were talking about. We're a BDS reporting okay. station. So, you know, we, 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 got our okay. stuff. we got our stuff together down here, sis. I love that, and congratulations to you guys for that. That is amazing. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you, and I know that this is Independent Friday, but because it's her client, yes. we want to make sure that we play this next lady, and it is Miss Lena Bird-Miles.